Hey everybody, today we're gonna to learn some quick tapping for anger at your partner. So maybe you're angry they didn't load the dishwasher, they took out the garbage, they did something wrong, they said something again. And you're gonna learn how to deal with that easily and effectively to move those emotions through so you don't have to carry them yourself. Doesn't make what they did right, but it helps you come from calm, clarity, confidence, and choice. First, here's the show reel. <laughs> you can't too much. <laughs> All right. So if you want the full instructions on how to do EFT, there's a little card up there that'll direct you or go ahead and look in the description. There's a PDF on how to do this. There's a six minute summary on how to go through EFT more clearly. But today we're going to focus on what happens when my partner makes me angry. So I want you to think about one specific time in space that you still feel angry about now or anything. Maybe you feel sad. That's okay. It works with any emotion. So let's just make up something, for example. So let's say I fought with my partner on Tuesday and he said something like, you're just being oversensitive. Get over it. Right? So now I'm like, ah. So maybe then I was angry, but how do I feel about it right now? Because actually right now is what is attached to my brain. Okay. So I want you to write down your situation or your event is what we call it sometimes in EFT. So thinking about, you know, the other day when he said, uh, you're oversensitive. What do I feel about it right now? I feel angry. How strong is my anger? So zero means it's non-existent. 10 means it's overwhelming. And you want to find out where this is. And this is mainly to figure out if your tapping round is working. Okay. So just evaluate, just kind of guess how strong is that anger or that frustration or that sadness right now. And then scan your body real quick. Where is it in your body, if anywhere? Mm, your heart, your chest, your stomach, your hands. Do you want to like punt, right? So where is it right now? Okay, and write that down as well. So this is the first half of your setup statement. And so what we do is when we create a setup statement, we're telling our brain, like, even though there's this thing that really is creating a lot of emotion in me, it's okay. So that calms down our system and it helps us come from calm and clarity and compassion, choice, forgiveness, all of those things. So we don't hang on to it ourselves. So our acceptance phrase is going to be something like positive and in the present, like I deeply and completely accept myself. Now, maybe you said something that kind of caused the fight or you did something that caused the fight too, and you're not in a place of self-acceptance. So maybe you're feeling a little guilty. You can use, I'm open to accepting myself or I accept the situation or I'm open to letting this go or I accept I feel this way, right? All positive and present. So let's just grab one of those, write down your setup statement and we're gonna do it together. Just go ahead and use my words because your brain knows what you're working on anyway. And I guarantee you that your brain has these things in a box. So whatever you're repeating after me anyway is also gonna clear something, okay? So first, is the setup statement's always on the side of the hand. Doesn't matter what hand you use, just go ahead and pick a hand. And we're gonna say the setup statement three times while tapping the side of the hand. This is clinical EFT, okay? So even though I'm feeling angry in my stomach, thinking about when my partner said, you're being too sensitive, get over it. I accept I feel this way. And even though I feel angry in my stomach, thinking about last night, Tuesday night, when my partner said, oh, you're being oversensitive, get over it. I deeply and completely accept myself. And even though I'm feeling angry in my stomach, thinking about Tuesday night, when he said, you're being oversensitive, get over it. I accept the way I feel about it. Okay, all the rest of the points now are gonna be just reminder points. So in other words, we're just gonna say our emotion and where we find it in the body. So top of the head is the next point, okay? Feeling angry in my stomach. Good. The next point is the corner of the eye. So you can tap one side, you can tap both sides, you can tap both sides with one hand. Anger in my stomach. Good. The next is the temples right at the side of the eye. And if you have glasses, you can tap above or below your glasses. Doesn't matter. It vibrates to the bones. 
anger in my stomach. Good. The next spot under the cheekbones, anger in my stomach. Good. The next spot is under the nose, anger in my stomach. Good. And the next spot's under the mouth, anger in my stomach. The next spot, bad sweater for this, right underneath the collarbone. So find that soft spot. This is one spot we do want to tap both sides. So you can tap both sides with two hands. You can tap both sides with one hand. It doesn't matter. Anger in my stomach. Okay. And then our last point is under the arms. Just straight over where you reach, or you can do it on the same side if that's more comfortable. Angry in my stomach. So after each round, you take a breath maybe to get a little water. And now you're going to reevaluate to know that that tapping round worked. You want to either see a change in the intensity of your emotion, a change in the emotion itself, or a change in where you feel it in your body. Then you're going to create your new setup statement and do it again. And your goal is to get down to three or under. You want to get to a zero of emotion completely knowing that you might have to tap on some anger and then some sadness and then some frustration, but stay on the one time. And once that's down to a zero, then you can go tap on another time that they made you angry or that you feel guilty about or whatever it is, okay? This is gonna be the best way to clear these things from your system. So let's do another round because the brain likes to know that things have been done two or three times. That's what gives us confidence. And also just as a little thing, I'm gonna, um, if this also doesn't work for you, I've got a self-hypnosis class. You can self-hypnotize yourself. So check that out in Eventbrite in my links below. So even though I'm feeling sad in my stomach because my partner said on Tuesday that I was being oversensitive and I should get over it, I accept how I feel about this. And even though I feel sad in my stomach, remembering him saying, you're being oversensitive, just get over it. I deeply and completely accept myself. And even though I feel sad in my stomach, thinking about him saying, you're being oversensitive, just get over it. I'm open to letting this go. Good. Top of the head. Feeling sadness in my stomach. Good. Between the eyes, feeling sadness in my stomach. Side of the eyes, feeling sadness in my stomach. Under the eyes, sadness in my stomach. Good, under the mouth, sadness in my stomach. Under the nose, I mean, under the mouth is next, sadness in my stomach. <laughs> and under the collarbone, sadness in my stomach. And under the arms, sadness in my stomach. Great. Well, I hope this was helpful for you. There's a full class, as I've mentioned, there's other videos. So please go ahead, keep tapping. And remember that you can actually just tap in the moment. I mean, maybe you don't want to be like, hey, you're making me angry. Look at what you're making me do. Like not that way. But as soon as you start feeling something, you can like start tapping on it and just breathe and breathe it through. And if you are in a fight, remember that you can just rub the points too. So I can sit here kind of protecting myself, guarding myself and just rubbing the points and breathing to allow myself to stay present with the argument, but able to react with calm and clarity and confidence and choice instead of reacting. Maybe I get to take a breath and say, wow, I'm actually feeling really upset right now. Can we take a five minute break instead of coming back at it or maybe going into shame or going in hiding or reacting outward, right? So we can make choices now. So these arguments, we actually move through them. We let them go from our body. We find forgiveness and we can come back if it's healthy with our partners again. So remember you are loved, you are loving, you are lovable. Thanks for watching.